What's up guys? We are currently here in Stockholm, Sweden for my first major of the year. That's right guys, if you look behind us, we are at a High Rocks event in Stockholm, Sweden. It is absolutely freezing cold. It started getting dark at 3 p.m. tonight, but we all came here for one reason, one reason only, and that's to qualify for World Championships. Yeah, there's cash on the line. Sure, it's nice to get a little bit of money and spend it places, but the truest honor of this weekend is to qualify for World Championships. The sport's been getting bigger every single year, month after month, race after race. More athletes are attending these things, and the competition keeps on getting more stacked. So for myself, normally I wouldn't race this early, but it just ended up being one of these kind of things when they say there's a race in Stockholm and there's a bunch of Vikings here that want to party, you know I'm going to show up. So stay tuned guys, this is going to be a wild weekend. In the briefing, we it's a little bit of a different setup. Um, in general, for you, so this is how it looks like in the arena. This is from earlier today, so so bear with me a little bit. It's not entirely set up, but basically, you this is your in. It's going to be like a fence line. You're going to be, you're gonna be so basically, um, you do a burpee, and it, no matter if you jump back or step back, step up, you you can never go further away. Like do one wrong one, please. So. If you're really flexible, okay, that was, no, like, <laughs> no, I want your foot as you, as you step up to surpass your fingertips. No, that wasn't, <laughs> well, that's me, so you go down like this, and then, and then you basically do this, right? Oh, okay, but that is. So, so that's, in the, that was very obvious, but sometimes it's just a small, so but just make sure. If, if I come up here. And take my food. That's not, no, that's <laughs> also no, that's not allowed. Yeah, but I'm talking about when you do the step up right, okay. method, then just don't go over your fingertips, yeah? And then also, I know some of you got really smart with the exercise. <coughs> not looking at anyone here. So what, what, what doesn't count is, you need to listen up, please. Um, can you do this? So some of you like to do, as a point of reference for your judge, you like to touch your tippy toes, right? That's fine. But then, you jump back out. And that's, just, that's, not, that's not okay, we're gonna see this. We're seeing this this time. Not today, not tomorrow, all right? So, what are you saying, <laughs> cheater? Yeah, well, yeah, you didn't listen. You were busy chit-chatting. <laughs> yeah, so just, just, just be clear, yeah? There's no bullshit tomorrow. Crush that athlete breathing. I feel like they were trying to attack me a little bit. They were trying to take down the champ. But let's just be real. It's easy to attack the biggest target in the room. <laughs> Last time we, we trained with Bo. Both threw up all over the place, shedding tears. <laughs> I opened up the van door, and I, as I opened it, there was vomit all over it. <laughs> it was not a tear shit, and we still won. Dry tears. technique because I'm different than most of the guys. Everybody is the step No, what up. I will do, by the way, is I will probably move backwards next to you. Okay. Like this. Yep. And I will always place my foot exactly where your foot lands. So just give you a heads up. Yeah. I usually come down. Yeah. And then I go, I put my hands out and then yeah. I go out and then I go up. And then where you, wherever you land. Double push out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, get down. I, I know. I know. I know. What, what if you, you finish? Like do you come, Okay, so I'll come down. Yeah. I will probably like, I will always be in a 45 degree angle kind of to you. Okay. Either I will walk like this and place my left foot here or I will walk. So I'm down. And I will place my foot to see. See I go here, here, and I got more wide. Yeah, I know. When I, this way I have to also move pretty fast. I will always use my, my feet. Like, I will place, if you, if you land like this, I will place my feet kind of really close to you. All right. To see where it is. And then we can go down. Right. This way you can see where you're Mitra, she runs the show. 
she will, she will shut you down where you stand. This is good. This is a cool haul. Cold as fucking. This gets, dude. This is an iceberg. So my my right hip, if you hear your bone, yep. it's the hip. Yep. And it's here. Yeah. And that's a problem. Really? Yeah. You don't have any fluid between? No. Really? Yeah. Does it get better? Yeah, through a lot of mobility. I hope that I don't need a, a operation. So yeah. We will see. Best of luck, but dude. It's good. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Good luck tomorrow. Hello, good evening. I mean, I'm nice. People think I'm this big monster. I want everyone to be healthy and happy and whole to compete against, and then I want to beat them <laughs> in that state. Hello, goodie bag. Just a bunch of condoms and bubble gum. Yeah. <laughs> Down the party. No, I'm just kidding. Good for you. Not so bad for an old girl. How old are you? 38. 38? Yeah. That's still young. Well. <laughs> you got your kids? Yeah. Yeah, the ones you met. Good on you. To be a mom, train full time, and compete at a high level. It's good. I like that he, um, I like the son's really into running now. And he's got his fast race on Sunday, so I'm flying home to watch him. Where are you guys based at? Um, just outside London in Weybridge. Okay. So, yeah. But he, can, like he, can a, he can hold a five minute pace for like really? three, 3K, he's seven. Really? Yeah. So that's just <laughs> awesome. Why would you like tomorrow? Oh, yeah, you too. Kick some ass. Well, I'll try. <laughs> See you later. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Squeaky bomb a bit. Moder moderately confident. Nice. Yeah. What time are you aiming for? Uh, time irrelevant. I just hope to be in the mix with the big boys and try to get a decent place. <laughs> Better than Chicago. That's that's my main goal. How I guess. are you doing, Chicago? Thirteenth. Thirteenth. So get under that at least. It's a fast race in Chicago, was it? It was. The sleds were quick. The runners all did very well. See, with like the sleds are a little bit heavier. It slows everybody down a bit. Exactly. It's not that I'm really good at the sleds, but I think I can run well after the sleds. Yeah. So if they're heavy, I can still run well. Um, so I hope they're heavy oh. <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> Woo! Time to dance. Woo! What's up, baby? How you doing? What's up, baby? Yeah. I'm ready, dude. Ready to win? Are you sponsored by Lululemon? Yeah, bro. <laughs> dude, I, I got a contract. It looks like you're beating up an old 80 year old man for that fucking shit. <laughs> I'll stay in. Um, yeah, Did you go to a senior so citizen well, home? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my walking stick? Here he is. World record holder. Oh, How are you feeling? Just a little, just a little something. I'm feeling good, actually. I'm, uh, what's, the, uh, what's the aim for today then? 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Yeah, a sub 60 would be nice, but finish the season strong and then crush everyone in the new year. How are you feeling? Good. Good. I feel like I put it, hopefully, feel better than Chicago. What did you get in Chicago? All that good. Yeah. I love them. Why speak about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, I just don't want to make any excuse. I think I had that poor performance and that was it. And that happens. So, a bit of redemption on this one, or just hopefully. kind of like. Hopefully it was only like three weeks of difference, so it could have been the training because I tried different things, but we'll see how it goes. I feel confident in my mind. Mentally I'm always there. Just gonna need to try and force the body to work. So. Back day for it. How are you feeling? Good man. Excited really good, yeah. Very excited actually. Glad it's an early, early race. Get out of the way and I'll have a cheeky few beers with you later. <laughs> What's the aim for this race then? Mate, um, it's my opportunity to cement uh, a podium spot, which means world champ spot there. So, um, so, so how do you do, how do you do in Chicago? Sixth. Six. Yeah. So um, yeah. So need to run my race though. So. Need to run my race.
we step out the cage We raising all of the stakes, make no mistake Either you stay in your place or we putting you on a plate Look at our face, we put the fear in the dirt We had to struggle for change, pick up the pace We put in infinite work, that's why we stay getting paid Y'all running late, we moving on to the next You still been stuck in the phase, there's no debate We draw the line in the sand, we say it straight to your face They on the rate, so we put the team on our back We took the city to stay, what it's gonna take Another S on our chest, another beat in the grave We in the grave
Let's see all the way in, but...
Holy the shit. wild times. Holy shit. training over pacing and running like way over speed so I came into stations like cooked I mean I bet you'll look at our splits and that's 10 seconds faster per thousand than I did last race the championships and it just it gets in your lungs your quads and then you get into a station and you're like fuck it I gotta move so it's crazy It looks sexy. I don't think I look that sexy out there. Are you talking about my fuzzy navel? I have puberty in the middle of my race. Sweaty, sorry, but that's all good. <laughs> I got everyone. It's, it's, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. How's you feeling it, anyways? Yeah, good, man. Yeah. Sick race, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. When I was watching you on the laps, you were flying through them. Yeah, felt good. Really good running, hey. Really good running. Excuse me? I had it up. It's all right. Double interview, I like it. It's good. It's good, man. So that was just a warm up for. Uh, 2:40 p.m. this afternoon. <laughs> oh, are you doing the mixed doubles? Here we oh, go. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was just a warm up for, uh, <laughs> the, main for the main event. That's this where the real yeah, racing yeah, starts, yeah. baby. That's the real racing. That race did nice. But now, mate, you uh, you fucking smash that. Fuck, man. I don't want to give him a bigger head than what he has right now, but. Well, he, he beat his world record by 50 seconds just then, mate. Uh, yeah, about that. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, wait! What did I tell you yesterday, bro? Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose, man. How good. What's this be for you, Nala? So I'm auto qualified for the majors now. Yeah. And also my time, I did a 2 minute and 10 second PB just then. So, um, what does it mean? A couple of Chardonnays tonight. Go back to South Skeeter, have Christmas. See what Santa has to bring. Santa have to bring. Oh, you don't <laughs> want to know. Have I been a naughty boy? Dude, uh, I mean, we have to go to the podium in like 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah, after that, I'm up for whatever. I was going to go into the concert hall and just like do a bunch of challenges and shit. And uh, if you want to have some beers tonight, it's on you. I'm probably not. Right, Come on, man. No, really, really <laughs> stressful week next week. So what next week, where we have a huge event next week in Frankfurt. Yeah, and then it's fucking Christmas time. <laughs> We're soulmates. Text me. Get that sexy goat. <laughs> <laughs> And one more time, your top five elite female athletes. Moving on to our men in fifth place. I hope you're all here. He is from Australia with the awesome time of 56 minutes, 41 seconds. Keep it up for my boy, James Kelly. Yes, James. Look at him go there. There you go, that's fifth place. Okay, moving on to fourth place. Uh, awesome time of 56 minutes, 34 seconds. A lot of PBs going on here from the UK. Give it up for Michael Sandback. Yeah, baby. Sandy, 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 Sandy. Your third place elite athlete from New Zealand. It's for by Wills. Solid warbles. And
and in second place, 54 minutes, 16 seconds from Austria. Give it up for Alex Rogovic. And moving on to our first place spot, which is pretty phenomenal. I don't know how he keeps doing it, but he broke his own world record. It is now 53 minutes, 22 seconds from the USA. Give it up for the Sheriff, Hunter McIntyre. Ladies and gentlemen, your top five elite male athletes. Make some noise one more time, please. Good, of applause as well. Imagine if they did doubles. Oh, imagine if they did doubles. Oh. Yeah, we got the record. Oh. We can get it again. What's that? We can get it again. Easy money. What do you I have now? to carry you though. Awesome. How was your race? Great. Yeah, it was good. It looked like it was easy for you. It didn't look easy for me. I think I had ugly face on the whole time. No, you had you had intense face on. You looked really good on your running, on your run, so. Yeah. Hopefully I did too, but. Yeah, you were bruising. Yeah. I, I got the lead at sled push, like off of sled push. I was and I was like, wow, this is happening earlier than I thought, so I'm gonna roll with that. Yeah, I was tired of sled push. Yeah. I just started going. Yeah. Not yeah, really. Lauren and I like finished together. Yeah. She got a little head for a second, and then I caught That's her exactly. on that run. Ronkovich didn't go out ahead of me though, did he? No. Yeah. No, he didn't. Um, all right, I'll do that. What's next for you now then? Where are you going now? Um, I'll go to Vienna in February. So, you were record again, or just gonna, gonna try? Yeah, gonna keep trying to cut it down even more. We gotta get to 57 for the women. That's my goal. So, yeah. Yeah. Are you partying tonight? Are you? Yeah. Of course. It's time. Time to let loose. So it's one, two, three, four. I declare sword war. I know that was sword fight. Kind of dab, you know. <laughs> This is some solid stuff. Oh, that's good. Alright. Hunter McIntyre here. First street meat review. You know the deal. <laughs> One bite. This is Swedish muskrat. So these things live under dumpsters and ponds around here. Let me tell you, with the sauce, and you can tell it was cooked all the way through, but it's still got a little bit of that juicy bounce to every bite. I'm gonna give this 8.2. And especially with the ambiance. Eight three. <laughs> You guys know it. It started here. Street Ring Reviews with Hunter McIntyre from here to Park Sports. Oh, boys. Oh. Mm. Mm. Team High Rocks. What's, up? What's happening then? What? It's not CrossFit. It's cooler, I swear. Uh, we're about to compete. 10 minute relay with the fittest lads in all of the land. <laughs> Basically, it was the second fastest man in High Rocks history. Qualified for World Championships today. And pretty lethal team. We've had two beers already each. Really? <laughs> yeah. We're two beers in. I had a really shit cider and it just knocked the wind out of me. I was yeah. like, this tastes so party, I can't have it. So we're, we're half cool. Are there other guys competing at 220? Is there anybody else competing at 220 or is it just us? Today, but tomorrow they're coming for the cross keepers, so we'll okay. see if you can beat those guys. Okay. Kill yourself on the first. Don't kill yourself on the first. I think I can get away with like a one, 127, 128. Be great. Do we look cool? Good, good, man. That's right. My Amazon gold chain? Like you, don't, you don't look the tan like the tan this, but... What? <laughs> He's tan. Yeah. I don't know how you have somewhat of a tan. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> you bet. What? You're tanning beds? What? Are you tanning beds? You like lay down and tan? <laughs> That's not true. That's how you get all the ladies. <laughs> so hot. On the third team, we have the... Uh, yeah, these guys are quite famous. World champion in Fire Oaks. It's the world record today. World record today is the of Fire Oaks. It's the world record today of Fire Oaks. Cheer them out, guys. Let's begin.
We are currently at the hotel right now. I think it's called Hotel France. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty fancy. We got bunk beds on the other side. Like, we're going to have a slumber party tonight. Uh, it's been a humongous success, this trip. We went to the biggest high rocks in history, and then we just had the fastest high rocks run in history today by myself. It's just one of these incredible things to see the, the progress of the sport reach such a high level that I never thought would be there. Like, when I first got started... There was maybe 500 people in a room in Miami, and that was in 2019. So it's mind blowing. I mean, like I, I can't even begin to tell you guys the how grateful I am, how excited I am, and like the progress that we've made through this whole thing. I've traveled the world now through this sport, and the amount of volume of people and the amount that my brand has grown through it, it's it's awesome. So some things to tell you guys about. This trip was meant to be kind of like this business business casual experience. Like I knew that I had to go to London. We had some things to take care of. We had some big activations with Puma, some merch drop with Represents. Like, you know, being an athlete on this kind of caliber, like a big part of it is working with sponsors so you can continue to travel around the world and work at this capacity if you want to break world records and help be at the frontier of a new sport. 
Um, another aspect is the competition, obviously. Like, I did doubles with George, and then I was, you know, kind of hanging out, hung around with my mom a little bit, saw some friends in London, and I flew over here, and I, I told people, I was like, I'm in good shape, but like I'm not meant to be in good shape right now. Like this is beer drinking season. I tell everybody every single year, I'm like, don't talk to me until March. Like I don't want to talk about high rocks. I don't want to. I want to focus on the off season style training and the off season style lifestyle. Like if you want to be a professional athlete, you do have to be a dedicated person, but you also have to have these psychological breaks where you're not being broke down by all of these really really high volume, high adrenaline events that can really just take so much energy out of you. Like, not only did I set a world record, but the amount of stamina and endurance that it took to have this massive week of filming, working, creating, racing, it takes a lot out of you. So, this is a new thing for me to race this early on. It's only December 2nd right now, maybe December 3rd, and basically at this point, we are gonna keep on going. We've got a lot of big things coming up. We can expect to bring even bigger and higher and faster scores than you've ever seen before. And I can only ask you guys just to stay tuned, believe in the dream, and stay with us because it's going to be some wild shit. And the more people who are along with us, the better things we can produce. So thank you guys. Thank my team. And uh, this is over and out. Time to go drink some beers. Uh, pizza, Chase yeah. the Sweets Queens. Wait, pizza. This is the really important part. Um, uh, wow. Thank you. I know you were holding that for such a uh, long time. Be careful because these ones are really hard. I'm extremely strong. Thank you. Look at the plate that I got for you guys, right in the middle of our outro. I want you guys to understand. They're like, uh, hello sir, would you like to sit? I'm like, no, this is not a sitting <laughs> experience. This is an action movie night for the boys. I want your finest accoutrements. I want melted cheese with fancy nutty bread. I want things with coconut shards that I didn't intend on ordering. Some chicken and these two little fancy gumdrop things. <laughs> so street meat reviews, Hunter McIntyre back. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys the first scoop. Let's just give you guys an opinion here. I know this is baking hot and I'll probably burn the shit out of my mouth. Presentation, nine. Crunchy factor with the different notes of fat accents inside of the cheese. I'm going to go eight, seven. Eight, seven. We've never seen that before. I mean, this is only our second episode of Street Beat Review, but we've never seen such high scores. Honestly, I'm going to let these guys get to it. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. It is so much fun living this lifestyle. And the fact that you guys are on the other side of it, giving us some love back, really makes the whole journey a lot better. So we'll keep on bringing better if you guys keep on showing up. Peace and love. Biceps when races, baby.